Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Blau, back at you with another draft battle video. And this week is for the SRL. And this week I'm facing Southside Braves. And if you guys have been watching, I faced Southside in the PWD last week. And it ended up in my favor. But we'll see how this ends up this time around. So he decides to bring. Oh, so he doesn't bring the Quack Sire, but he does bring Stunfisk. Let me just get these sprites ready. He doesn't bring the Robombi, so Hatrim is literally um, useless. Because I feel like he might lead Vanillux, I'm gonna lead the Urshifu. And I'm faster than unless he leads Rillaboom, it's not a good lead. But because I'm faster than Rillaboom, he doesn't bring the Darm either. He decides to bring Shift Tree. Which is crazy to me. He doesn't bring Robombi, he brings Charizard. Hmm. This is an interesting team he brings. Because he has mixings of a Sun team, but he doesn't really have a Sun setter. He's, uh, no, he doesn't have a Sunsetter, but he does have an Ice kind of core with the Vanillux and Aegislash. So he does leave Vanillux, okay. Okay, so I'm faster than this. So, unless he's Scarf. He could be Scarf and Freeze Drive me, which is a big possibility. Hmm. Do I want to take that bet and believe he's... I don't think I do. Should I just go Incineroar? Because I don't think he can hit me with anything if I bring out Incineroar. And then I'll be able to break break, break if he goes... No, you know what? I'm going to call it out. I'm going to CC. Hopefully he's not Scarf. Okay, he's not Scarf. So what does he come into? Ralph? It's Ralph. Global? No, Stunfist. So this should take a good chunk of damage, yeah, exactly. And unless I'm crazy, I don't I don't think there's any way this thing is faster than me. Considering last week, you know, the Lion Moon was going crazy on me. No, it's leftovers, okay. So no, there's no way this is faster than me, so I'm just gonna U-turn out. I'm gonna U-turn. Or should I just surging strikes? Hmm. I think I'm gonna search my friends. I'm gonna take this kill. I don't I don't know what ability this is. Does he get the chance to to parry me? No. No. Okay, I guess I'm fine. I guess the maybe it was his sack. This is good because Bufant does have Sap Zipper. Which is really good for me. Um Let's see, what can he bring out? MVP, is that the Charizard or is that the Rillaboom? That's the Rillaboom. Okay. He should know that I have Bufalon and he's not gonna just willy-nilly grassy glide. But he might. Wait, actually this is not... Wait, what? Oh, this is not the grassy terrain, is it? No, it's not. It can't be grassy terrain. It's the G Max version. Um, what do I want to do here? I think I do just want a U turn. I'm pretty sure that I'm faster than this. Yeah, I should be faster than this no matter what. So I'm going to U turn out. He might want a Dynamax. He does Dynamax. So then does nothing for him in terms of scarf or anything so that's good for me his dynamax does ignore my my um what's it called his dynamax move does ignore my ability so u-turn should be good here u-turn does a good chunk of damage so i think i'm gonna go into incineroar instead of bufalant because incineroar gets to intimidate off which will kind of and I'm max defensive so it will hinder it a bit 
so to speak. We'll see what happens. Intimidate goes off. He's gonna. Let's see. Does he max grass? Yeah, he max drum solo. That shouldn't do much. Yeah, exactly. Um, I don't really need Incineroar that much. So because of that, I will stay in. And I will decide to knock off. Just to see what item he is. Let's see how much this knockoff does. Max Knuckle. Will this kill? It shouldn't. He'll be at neutral. Let's see what, how much knockoff does. Does a good amount. Okay. He had Assault Vest. Ah. So because I think he's going to knock, knock, uh, max knuckle once again. I think I go into hatch room. For all intents and purposes right now, because he didn't bring the Robombi, hatch room is just a sack. And I think I'm going to go hatch room, then um, baton pass out. Because we can drive pass, which makes sense. Let me lower this a bit more. Game volume is going crazy. I wonder why my mic is sounding so low, but yeah, he does max decide to max knuckle. Let's see what happens. He, what he's gonna decide to do? I wonder. Um, because Hatchum is not. I'm not afraid of using Hatchum. I'm just gonna. I mean, not afraid of Hatchum dying. I'm just gonna mystical fire. I could also nuzzle. Depending on what he brings in. But I think I'm going to go with the Mystical Fire. Let's see if he decides to switch out. Oh, he does a U-turn. Okay. We'll just do it. <clears throat> that does decide to kill. Which is, again, okay. Because I expected that from Hatchrum. Let's see what he decides to go out to. So now the hat Hatchrum is down. Let's take that off. So he does decide to go to the Charizard. Now that he decides to go to Charizard, I think I'm just going to go into Bufalon. Because I am AV, I'm just going to Stone Edge him. Stone Edge will definitely kill if I hit. And it will do a good chunk to Vanillux. And yeah, get that Sunday nonsense out of here. If this lands, this should kill. Please land, Buffalon. I beg you. I beg you, land. And he misses. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Okay, so... There's no way he can kill me. So I'm gonna Stone Edge once again. Please. Hatch. No. No. Will that do? That should do a good chunk. That's not gonna do enough. Please don't flinch. It decides to flinch. That's amazing. Love this game. Um, I'm just gonna burn. Um, actually, I'm gonna body slam here. This is just burning threads of his son, which is fine with me. If he wants to solar power again, go ahead. Body slam should do a good chunk. Please, Para. Let's go. Yes. 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 Yes, this is good. This is good. Because now I'm going to body slam again. I think he decides to let Charizard go down here. Which would make the most sense. And he might have been Heat Rock. So that Shift Tree is kind of scary, but... So Charizard does go down. He might have been Heat Rock. Which, well, it is kind of scary for the shift tree because shift tree will have, does have chloroform, will have a lot of turns of, um, sun, but I think I should live. So I will decide to poison jab. I'm not going to CC here. And I do get the poison, and he runs out of sun, which will help me a lot.
lot. Um, do I just want to let this go down? I think I do just want to let this go down. It's fine by me. Go ahead, knock off. That's fine. Um, here I think I'm gonna just go into. What do I go into? How fast is Shiftry? Shiftry shouldn't be that fast. So I think I will decide to go into Porygon. Let's see what... Hmm. I think I'm just going to try attack. I believe he will sack this. I genuinely do believe he will sack this. So, looking at it right now, this is really good. As long as Vanillax doesn't get... He sucker punches. Ooh. Oof. That's fine. Again. Fine. Um, I just really need to not let Incineroar go down. Incineroar cannot go down because he walls the Aegislash. Well, it doesn't even really wall it that much, but he... Keeps it um, humble in terms of the intimidate and stuff. Because he will get that speed boost. Um, I think I'm just going to try attack here. Yeah, I'm going to go for the try attack. That should do the most damage to this Vanillax. Let's see how much it will do. Oof. And it O code. Holy adaptability. Porygon. What? I did not know you had it like that. My goodness. Okay, so here he will go into the Sand Slash. I said Aegis Slash. I've been saying Aegis Slash this whole time. He will go into the Sand Slash, which I'm fine with. I'm gonna let Porygon go down here, sadly. But I will let him go down. And then I will go into the Incineroar right after this. And Incineroar should be able to wall this easily. I hope. I don't know. I hope though. So Intimidate goes off. And because of the Intimidate goes off, I think I'm going to just Flare Blitz. Hopefully I live one. Um, Urshifu, with the mix of Urshifu and Blastoise, should be able to knock out. Should be able to knock out Rillaboom. He flinched me. Okay. Um. So this is what's about to happen. Am I going to get it? Am I going to get flinched to death? I'm going to assume he ha he's banded. Should I just break break? I think I'm just going to. Should I just break break? Will that do enough to kill? I think I'm going to break break. I don't want to take that. Unnecessary um, recoil damage. Please. Thank you. Go through. Thank you. Now, Will. This is just chipping me down. Which is fine. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to break break again. Hopefully I can, you know, go through the flinches. Come on, please don't flinch again. Just let, just let this go down. Please. Please. Okay, now I'm healing more than I'm losing health, which is good. But please, just go down. Please. I'm going to knock off here. Imagine this doesn't kill going to be so upset if this doesn't kill because i decided to knock off i don't know why i decided to knock off but i hope this kills oh god what is wrong with me what is wrong with me oh he did have icy rock okay he didn't even have wait so he didn't even have i thought he was banded so i will just brick break here please again leech life oh that's this might kill oh it doesn't kill uh, okay, I'm fine. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Incineroar will go down to the Rillaboom, sadly, after this. But it looks good because I have both Blastoise and Urshifu in the back. And uh, U-Turn should be able to kill this Rillaboom from no matter the range, I'm pretty sure. Even a C I think a CC will kill it. But I will U-turn just in case. Because I am, um, what's it called? 
I am expert about. And I don't think I'm faster than him here. He will fake out. That's fine. That just gives me more turns of you losing health to hail. Actually, will I die to hail? Please don't. I did die to hail. Okay. So here I definitely just go into Urshifu. And I will U turn. So Incineroar does go down. And because Incineroar goes down. Um U turn should I could CC or U turn. I will do I will just U turn. Just in case. I mean not in case, just because of the expert belt. Yeah, that should kill. And Urshifu picks up the last kill. And that will be GG's to Southside. Actually, this team turns out this team is not looking so bad, but I think we're out of the playoff push. I think there's only four weeks left, and I think now we're three and five. And I don't know if I winning the last couple matches will let me come into playoffs. But that was a great match. Shout out to shout, shout out to Southside. And I will catch you guys in another one. In the next one. Peace.